So yeah, I've just uh, spent today editing the first week of my uh, documentary of uh, my time in self-isolation. All I'm going to do is now just get this rendered, put it, pop it on YouTube, and then I'll be able to start a recording for the second week. Easy. So today has been, well the past few days really have been I know, uh, kind of uneventful. Uh, yesterday I uploaded the first part of my ongoing documentary, that being uh, week one. Uh, getting a lot of uh, positive feedback on that actually. A lot of good positive feedback, people are enjoying it, so I'm definitely going to continue doing this. Um, and then throughout the whole of today, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess really the most I've been doing is, is, is I've been helping out a mate uh, with her uh, with her work that she's uh, got to do <clears throat> for uh, for uh, uh, for college because uh, she's in the year below me, uh, and I just thought I'd help her. I just thought I'd help her out with it, you know, as a good as a good friend should do. So now all I'm really doing is just sort of relaxing uh, for a bit. So not really, so not really much to report now. But by tomorrow, uh, I, I probably should. I probably will be able to have a lot more stuff to record. So stressful day today. Tried to get my student, uh, student finance and uh, student accommodation sorted out today, and, and I got through most of the student finance, except for the, except for they're asking me for personal details, and uh, first option was uh, passport, and me guess what I've lost my passport, I've searched there as I've searched my room I've searched the different uh, drawers where a lot of important information is stored in this house and I can't find my passport fucking anywhere so the other option uh, if I couldn't provide passport details was to go through my birth certificate I had to print the form off which I would then uh, have to scan uh, in order to uh, hand back on to in order to hand back on to uh, the application form uh, but the form has to be uh, uh, the second part of the form uh, of the of, of the birth certificate proof. Uh, I think so. Has to be completed by someone who isn't related to me, which means I'm going to have to wait even longer to get that uh, sorted out. Which is great. I've been in a great mood today. Okay, so I'm up at a earlier time than usual. Uh, I'm up at around about summer past six in the morning. This is so I can do just a little bit of work before my conference call today. Just a little bit. I think after today's conference call I'm going to get a few more hours sleep because I don't feel awake at all so uh, yeah conference call went good today it actually went to be a lot of fun as you can tell by the picture that I'm gonna post here wow magical editing <laughs> see Anna's unimpressed <laughs> we're just outside uh, getting a bit of fresh air I'm gonna talk about uh, existence yeah. And I can't comprehend the impossible. She I does... can comprehend it, I just choose not to because it's stupid. Because she's a dictator. I'm not a dictator. We'll leave it at that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to throw a rock? Okay, here we are. Throwing rocks on our allocated hour outside. That was so exhilarating. This is Luke. He's a uh, UK's uh, number one rock thrower in his first attempt to uh, break the world record at uh, distance throwing on Remington Reservoir. Good stunt. He's poisoned himself. Oh, it hits the tree. Pretty good attempt. Not good enough. Is this? Yeah. 
How long have we been out for? Because, you know, the government said, you know, you're only allowed an hour outside. So how long have we been out for? Uh, let me check. Uh, 59 minutes. Shit. Okay, so Wednesday. Today is uh, April Fool's Day. Just about to go to a conference call uh, with my class, and I figured, and I thought to myself, could I be, you know, uh, could I, could I be silly on a day like today? Could I be silly uh, during uh, April Fool's Day, during lockdown? And I thought, no, there's probably no need for it. So today I'm going to be as serious as I've ever as I've ever been, as serious as I've ever been on April Fool's Day. Definitely serious. Yeah. Yeah, I feel relaxed. Very relaxed. Especially looking at this. You're not cold? No. Are you cold? I'm very cold. Don't you just love living in Horwich, where there's so much smoke and fire? Alright, so it is uh, currently uh, 6 minutes until 8 o'clock. Which I think means uh, people are going to be going outside and clapping for the NHS in a bit. Uh, as, as, as I'll be taking you guys with me when we do that. Uh, as for the meantime, now I'm just uh, relaxing on YouTube. Looking to get just a little bit more work done before tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Things are going good. You can hear it that, can't you? Yeah. It's never down there doing it. How long you do it for? It was just about a few minutes, but it's nice. Because I'm holding this camera with my hand, I'm having to slap my leg. <laughs> How long do I do it for? You still can't tell me you're cold already. I'm only in a t-shirt and my socks. At least you've got socks. I think, I think we're done. Yes. I think we're done now. I figured, whilst I'm on my uh, walk for today, I'd show you guys this place. this, I want to say field, but it's just rocks, I guess, really small rocks. But this is where, uh, when I was in high school, we used to do a lot of uh, PE. It's also where we held uh, quite a few sports days, I think. No, wait, was it right here? No, 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 that was on the uh, field that's uh, part of the uh, my, uh, my old high school, which is... Uh, just behind us, but yeah, many memories here. I quite enjoyed PE in high school. I was never it was never like a like a desired uh, subject that I wanted to choose. It was just you know something that we sort of had to do to make sure that we got our exercise each week. But yeah, the lessons were fun. The sports were pretty good. I preferred PE lessons outside rather than inside. Back at Liverpool Castle for my, you know, daily exercise. Wonder if that graffiti's still there. <sighs> yep, still is. nice this being outside somewhere that you really like
when you get time to be to your own thoughts, you you know, you think about what's going on in your life. Everything. What's on my mind is what I'm guessing is on everybody's mind at this point. So how long's the lockdown gonna last? I've been dealing alright with it myself. I mean, I'm basically an introvert, so I, 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 I usually stay indoors anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking how long it's going to last. It might be, might be months, as the as the council says. I'm hoping it's not months. Sorry if I can't really say that much. Just thinking. Should probably head back so that you know I'm not out for longer than an hour, otherwise the police are going to hunt me down. <laughs> Joy for the next two weeks, for it is now the Easter holidays for me. No more conference calls. Only going to be my free time to do whatever the heck I want. I can go outside and... Okay, uh, now normally I would have stopped recording on Friday and have that be the week's footage that I'm putting into this documentary. Normally I wouldn't really uh, make a video like this where I'm directly uh, talking about uh, my thoughts on the coronavirus itself. Normally, I would probably just be continuing on with uh, the production of uh, my uh, video for my five-year anniversary uh, of my YouTube channel, but I've decided to put that on hold, and I've decided to do something a little bit different in this case. I've, I've made videos where I've talked about... Uh, uh, worldwide events before, uh, sort of. Uh, I've made videos where I've uh, dressed up for the occasion, just so I look a bit, you know, dignified and looks like I actually give a shit about this, which I do. So, yeah, we're in a very scary situation where, uh, right now. Many people are being asked to stay indoors. We're all, we're all being asked to stay indoors, is what I should be saying. Not everybody is uh, following that law for their own reasons. And the knowledge of when the lockdown will end and if the NHS have been able to develop a cure for the coronavirus is still unknown. That's probably what's the most scary about this. So I figured the best thing I can do uh, or, 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 or to be more specific, the least I can do um, in this situation is to make this video to tell everybody that we're going to be okay. And I get it. If I if 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 I if I say that's okay, that doesn't really you know change a lot. I'm just I'm I'm just me. I don't I I don't have a hundred percent knowledge on the dangers of the coronavirus. I don't have a hundred percent knowledge on. Uh, the people who've died from it or the people who are suffering from it. I have no idea about the uh, about the full-on state of where the NHS staff are at the moment, but from what I've gathered, it's quite intense for them. That's why every Thursday at about 8 o'clock we all go out and clap for them because they're doing such a great job. I know that if I make this video, I'm not exactly adding anything new. Everybody's telling everyone that it's going to be okay because it's the least they can do. Which is exactly why I'm doing it. I'm just like anybody. I just want everyone to be alright. I'm, as I'm hoping everybody is able to cope with these stressful times. These uh, sort of different times for us. Because we've never really had anything like this before. We've never really had a pandemic 
this big. We've never really had anything this dangerous. The closest we ever got, I think, was the the Ebola breakout, and that was sorted within, you know, just a matter of months, I think it was. Again, I never really read that much into it. I think around that time I was uh, focusing on other stuff, you know, like my, uh, my studies, because I think it was around that time I was preparing for GC GCSEs. When was the Ebola breakout? As I probably should know, I probably should know more about this, but again, it's ju it's just me, just little old me who wants to make this video to tell people everything's gonna be okay. I feel like if I made a video saying something like that, particularly as part of this, you know, ongoing documentary that I'm doing with my time in self-isolation then it might, you know, help them a little bit. It, help, it might help them going through the tough times that they're going. It might help them get through the fact that they may not be able to get to see uh, uh, their family or their friends as, mu uh, as, as, as much as they want to. Because I'm sure people are staying in contact with, you know, Discord, Facebook, Instagram and, and Zoom. But seeing them in person, I know, tr trust me, I know how, I know about the stresses and the uh, sort of loneliness that comes from not being able to see many of your family and friend members in person. I, kn I know all about that. But it's something that we've got to get through, unfortunately. So if we're in this state where we're very unsure about what's going to happen and we don't really know what it is uh, that we need to do to get through this. All I can really say is follow the law and stay indoors. Follow the law and eventually we will be able to get through this. Ev eventually because the cure for the coronavirus isn't a parcel being delivered by Amazon. There isn't a scheduled date for it to arrive. We don't know when it's going to happen, but we know that there are people that are working their asses off to get that because they too care for us. They want us to get through these tough times. They they don't want, they don't want us to be scared. Nobody wants anybody to be scared in this in this situation, which is why the lockdown has been placed to keep people safe, to keep people out of fear as well as, you know, making these videos, making entertainment from home to tell people that everything will be okay, reassuring them. Which is exactly why I'm doing, you know, the little bit that I can. The little bit I'm doing is making the people that I can laugh and entertaining them. That's what I've always strived for in my life and that is what I will continue to do uh, drastically in these times because people deserve to be happy all the time anyway but they deserve not to feel upset in these times they, they, they really don't thank you